Hi everyone, I am Darmila Shri from Smart Leaders AS. The next article which we are going to see which came on 2nd February 2018. So let us move on to article now. So this article, uh, should India have simultaneous election which came on 2nd Feb 2018. So what is this article about whether we need to uh, conduct the simultaneous election that is the election for parliament and the legislature should be held together so that is the article so we will see what is the article first let us move on to the syllabus part so this year 2017 means from our syllabus part this year 2017 indirect question has lifted from the simultaneous election and it is about 150 words here the question is about from the resource part simultaneous election is beneficial but from the uh, citizen part whether it is beneficial or not so we need to focus more on this simultaneous election not only about the simultaneous election and also the election related areas like election commission of india or the reforms in the election the model code of conduct and the cash for vote so these are the um, 360 degree areas we need to focus in the election uh, related to election we can expect so many questions from this area as usual gs2 path and the next one on the most expected one also electoral bonds and the funding of election state funding of elections or something else okay let us move on to the article what is the crux of this article this article says simultaneous election are needed for good governance because elections are perennial in our indian country so everywhere one or the other way every year some other parts are conducting elections so because of this model code of context came into a play so whenever model code of conduct comes the state and the governance is paralyzed at least for a few months so it is disrupting the good governance model and the next one is if the elections are very frequently occurring the role of corruption and the money entered into the politics which is obviously from a um, uh, notorious uh, way so the corruption also increases so simultaneous election uh, reduces the frequency of the election so that uh, uh, corruption also reduces and the next point is frequent elections or resource burden in terms of material, money, mobilization of security forces, men for missions, everything. And the opportunity cost of this resource is quite so high. As the opposite view given in the article. So here questions the burden. Even though we are having the same simultaneous election and we need to mobilize the same amount of resources, same amount of security forces to the election. So the question of burden becomes irrelevant because these views are given by the opposite counterpoints. And the model code of uh, model code of conduct, opposite views are saying that model code of conduct was evolved by the consensus developed by the political parties. Even now, if the political parties have consensus, they can and uh, reform the model code of conduct. So it is nowhere uh, directly related to the simultaneous election. And the next one is out of no confidence as of now available in our parliamentary democracy which can be taken away because simultaneous election gives five year stable term. Even a gov when a person he lost his majority or uh, the out of no confidence passed so he doesn't have the opportunity to come present. So it gives a, a stable governance which is ag even uh, sometimes against the wishes of the people. And the next one is whenever a parliament election has taken place state elections has to coincide with the parliament election this is how the uh, simultaneous election is expected to be so the spirit of federalism um, is going away is a main uh, contention given by the uh, opposite views and the next one is the five-year term which is very stable and no one is willing to get on from this five-year term if even uh, they are not enjoying the majority support let us move on to analysis now so there are some views favoring in a simultaneous election what are those views favoring the simultaneous election recently uh, pre our president and the prime minister in the budget speech coined for one nation one election apart from them from 1998 170th report of law commission and uh, favored for the simultaneous election and the parliamentary standing committee gives an option that is you can uh, go for election in two ways like midterm every two and a half years one set of election has to be done for states and uh, other uh, two and a half year uh, some other states can join together and can have an election like that thing and uh, election commission of india says 
if we are conducting the simultaneous election expenditure will come down to 4500 crore now it is almost some 6500 crore so and the next one the, uh, now we have seen the positive sides of simultaneous election and now we go back to the uh, negative sides of having simultaneous election here as a uh, common man point of view as a citizen my choices of choosing the electorate it is getting shrinked because I cannot have any opportunity to meet my elected representative in the mid in between the five year gap so five year time so here my choices are getting restricted so my it, it is my right and it which is constitutionally given to me and now it is shrinked because of simultaneous election the accountability of the represent elected representative also gets shrinked and the next one is here role of legislature becomes go, uh, comes down and and the role of legislature is the basic feature of our constitution if we want to go ahead with the simultaneous election we need to amend the role of legislature here it is not possible because it is our basic feature of the constitution so these are some valid points given by the opposite views so in order to <coughs> avoid the simultaneous election as of now we are not having the simultaneous election and we are we have we had till 1967 so without having simultaneous election how can we reform our election process so what are the way forward political consensus on the model code of conduct has to be evolved because this is model code of conduct is the main reason cited by the persons who are supporting the simultaneous election so model code of conduct which hampering the governance needs to be discuss with the political party and uh, have a consensus we need to reform the model code of conduct the next one is election funding which needs to be highly transparent is everyone is expected to uh, get the transparent fund and does please take a note on the electoral bonding also so it is highly related here in the transparency in the election funding and the other aspects of governance because only because of model code of conduct governance is not hampered there are so many other aspects which is hampering our governance effectively we need to see to that and the voter awareness cash for vote is getting increased day by day and which is highly affecting our society and highly affecting our democratic model itself so voter awareness has to be given to the public and the next is strengthening laws against the bribe during uh, elections so we have taken so many measures to control the bribes during election and still there are so many ways providing this bribe so we need to control that and then last one is resource mobilization and resource mobilization we need to focus on increasing the vv pat missions and and the security forces like digital voting like kind of thing etc if we are allowing the simultaneous election and which is f uh, mainly focusing on the parliament and uh, not allowing the state's role and the regional parties and the local issues are getting sidelined so if we are continue continuing uh, continuously allowing that simultaneous elections to happen our india turns to become a managed democracy which is the criticism of russia we are following we will follow the russian model and the next one is we all know that free and fair election is a tool to achieve the democracy so it is a we want free and fair elections to achieve democracy it it is not possible in the simultaneous election. So prepare well. All the very best. Thank you.